Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a good old fashioned high-low spring haul. I am getting so excited for the upcoming spring season. There are so many gorgeous new spring arrivals at the moment. So many great dresses and skirts and basically all I want to be wearing instead of the sweaters I'm often in because it's still so cold here, but hopefully the weather will turn soon. So I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I got. I'm also going to be sharing with you a new bag. And this is actually kind of an old bag as well because it's actually a repurchase. I think this is the only bag that I've ever actually properly repurchased. I didn't sell this one but I did pass it on and I've regretted it ever since so it is now back in my life so I will be sharing that with you as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up is this absolutely beautiful dress and as soon as I saw it online I was like oh my goodness I need that in my life. It is so gorgeous that we have a wedding coming up uh, next month in I think three weeks time um, so I've been looking for a dress to wear to that and I thought this would be absolutely perfect. It comes in a whole bunch of different colours. I think there's a navy, a pink and a few other colours. I went for this beautiful kind of um, like aqua blue. It's so stunning. I think this dress looks good in pretty much every single colour. Um, it is a satin like one and um, you do have adjustable straps and it has this really unusual kind of pleating detail but the pleating detail is all the way throughout whereas usually I feel like most items are kind of pleated skirts but you don't usually see it all the way through. Um, but you have this gorgeous v-neck and you have this great cutout feature right there and then as I said the pleating detail is everywhere from the bust right through to the skirt and it moves in the most beautiful way. Like it is so, so pretty. It just zips up at the back and you do have that little fastening as well. So it's super, super secure. I love the fact that it does have adjustable straps because I do feel like it makes for a very good fit as well. It fits in a really seamless way. It is um, a bit of a long one, not a maxi, but I definitely say a midi dress. So really great with a nice pair of heels. And I thought this was just fantastic, like so flattering as well. I'm definitely not where I was kind of pre-baby, but as soon as I put this on, I felt so good in it. I do feel like it really skims and I just think it's one of those things that's gonna look good on everyone, even with the cutout features. So I was super, super excited, absolutely love it. I cannot wait to wear it as well. And just the most dreamy dress. This gorgeous dress is from Abercrombie who are nice enough to part sponsor this video. I do have quite a few things from them in today's video because their new arrivals at the moment are absolutely on fire. Every single time I go on their site, I find something new that I want. Dan is the same. We've been placing so many Abercrombie orders, but definitely a good one to check out if you are after a little bit of an update to your spring wardrobe. I will link everything in the description section as well as my sizes reference if you did want to check anything out. Next up is this gorgeous tear dress, and I actually love this so much that I got it in another color. So I got it in a kind of print as well. It's a really, really classic silhouette, like very, very flattering. It has a really beautiful kind of deep phoenix so you do show a little bit of skin but the rest of the dress is quite covered up so I do feel like the balance is there. It's really elegant and lovely um, so you have this kind of smock detail like, around the waistline so it cinches you in in a really flattering place and then it just kind of flares out with this multi-tier effect. Um, it isn't lined but it is very opaque and it's a very very nice kind of cottony type fabric. You have pockets as well which I always love like such a big bonus for me when it comes to dresses. I just will automatically love something a lot more if it does have pockets and then you do have a little button here as well if you want to cinch in a little bit more at the front just to have a little bit more coverage you have this tie detail on the back as well so it does just cinch in a little bit just to add that little bit of structure to the shape and I thought this was so lovely, really, really elegant, very easy to throw on as well, like one of those pieces where, you know, if it is a bit warmer and you don't know what to wear, you can just put this on and it's just like your entire outfit, you know, you don't have to think too hard about accessorizing, it's going to go with everything and just a really elegant, easy going piece. And I am just so in love with this dress, such a fantastic style, super flattering and so easy to wear. And then as I mentioned, I loved it so much that I got it in another print as well. I saw this print I thought it was beautiful. Abercrombie are nailing it with their beautiful kind of floral patterns at the moment. Like they are so elegant and pretty. This one is just the loveliest print. So it has like um, off white kind of background. And then on top you have this stunning watercolor floral print. So you have these beautiful blues, you have greens, but it's a very soft kind of muted palette. So it's not too in your face. Just really beautiful for spring. 
you have that same great shape, so that great plunge neckline, you have that button cinching in right there, and then you have the really, really flattering smocked waist, cinches you in in a really nice way, and that absolutely gorgeous skirt, which you do get a fair bit of volume with, but at the same time, it's not so heavy that it's gonna feel too much for a warm day. Just absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear these in Greece, which is our holiday, which is happening in, I think, less than two months now, which is crazy how quickly that's come by. Um, but yeah, super, super excited about it. Just such a gorgeous classic dress. As I said, just so easy to wear and throw on and still feel really great. Next up is another repurchase, and that's kind of the accidental theme of this video, but I love this dress so much. If you watched my previous haul, and then you may remember it, I got it in this beautiful kind of blue and white print really love it I wore it for Mother's Day and I just felt so great in it saw that they had it in black and I was just so so excited I love a good little black dress I feel like they're so easy and elegant and just great to wear and I love this style like it's so super flattering it fits amazingly well so you have this great um, kind of pleated ish detail on the top it is a chiffon type dress so it has the most beautiful flow like it's really really elegant and lovely it cinches in around the waist and then it flares out ever so slightly it is fully lined so the quality is really really great and then you do have this side slit as well which just adds a little bit of drama I still feel like it's a very elegant Elegant dress but I do love the fact that the side slit gives you just that little bit of something extra you do have adjustable straps as well and then the front strap is a little bit thicker so you have a little bit more of that chiffon fabric following through it just kind of ties it all together really really nicely and I'm obsessed with this like it's so nice I think it will look equally great kind of on a holiday in a warm climate as it would for a really smart dinner out and I just cannot get enough of this style. I hope they bring it out in more prints and colors. I wanna collect them all at this point. It's just my favorite style that I found kind of since giving birth. Just so elegant, so lovely, and oh, just absolutely obsessed with it. And then speaking of great little black dresses, I saw this and thought it was adorable. So this one is a mini dress. So one that I will probably mostly wear on holiday. For some reason, I'm fine to wear mini dresses on holiday, but I don't tend to wear them that much every day, mainly probably because I live in the UK and it's just not that nice weather. Um, but I thought this was really, really cute. Um, so it is a kind of empire line dress, but it doesn't flare out in a really dramatic way because sometimes I feel like those aren't super flattering and can make you look pregnant even when you're not. Um, so I thought this was really great. Um, it's kind of cinched in under the bust. Flares out very, very gently, but not so much that, again, you look pregnant. Um, and then you have this tiered effect on the actual skirt. And you have these really pretty flutter sleeves, which I thought was lovely. I'm always a little bit 50-50 about this kind of sleeve because sometimes I feel like it can make me look like that dinosaur from Jurassic Park, which is never what I'm going for. Um, but I feel like these aren't so dramatic that it kind of reminds me of that. So I'm always on high alert for that kind of look, but I actually love it on this. And I thought it'd be really easy to dress up with some really pretty jewelry, some flat sandals, a cute little basket or wicker bag, and then you're good to go for all the summer activities. So I love this, really, really comfy as well. Has a nice smocked back so you do get a good fit. And just overall super cute. And then I do also have this absolutely beautiful orange blossom dress. And I wasn't completely sure about this style when I first saw it online, but decided to give it a go and I absolutely love it. I thought it was so beautiful. A little bit different in terms of the color ways I usually go for. Like I don't typically go for orange that much, but it's actually a really, really pretty colorway. Um, so you do have oranges in there, but they're almost kind of like a burnt orange. And then you also have little bits of blue in there, some red, some pale green, like it really is kind of multicolored without feeling too overwhelming and you actually have some darker more rustic shades as well it's really elegant and lovely I and mean, you have that fantastic side slit again which I always love this one is lined but it's only lined up until the side slit so it doesn't get in the way of you walking but you still do have that kind of extra added layer which is nice and then it does cinch in there at the waist it is elasticated so very very comfortable indeed it is another plunge neck so you have that great deep v-neck and then you have this beautiful flutter sleeve again but similar to the other one like I don't feel like it's too much it just has a little bit of drama and kind of going into that more statement sleeve look without being completely ridiculous or Jurassic Park like so I absolutely love this really really lovely it's super cute with some flats but I also think you could dress this up with heels I feel like it's kind of one of those dresses that you can really go either way on 
and I just thought it was beautiful and I absolutely love the pattern. I think it is so, so pretty. Next up is the bag that I already purchased. As you can tell, it's from Louis Vuitton and if you watch my channel regularly, you may know what this one is. Um, it's not a particularly exciting purchase. Well, it is for me. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, but in terms of bag styles, it's nothing groundbreaking, um, but I will show you what I got. I already had done the ribbon and had a look, obviously. Inside is the dust bag. You do also now always seem to get um, this kind of uh, like booklet card thing, this envelope. I don't know um, when they started doing this, but I have gotten a couple of them now. So it is very cool. It's just kind of a journal magazine. I think the theme is travel um, and then you have some LV features all the way throughout. So that's nice that you do get a little extra thing. And then here is the bag. You get a big old dust bag with it. And then it is another Neverfall. I know, I know, I feel like everyone else is over the Neverfall and I'm just still here loving my Neverfalls. Um, but this is the MM size in the Damia um, Azure. I was gonna say a bean then, it's not at all, it's Azure, um, with the rose pink lining. So I did have this bag and I loved it and it was one of my favorite bags for so long. Um, and then I don't even really remember why, but I ended up giving it to my mum. I know she really, really liked it and I was wasn't using it as much for a little while um, so I was like oh you can have it and I think I just I think I said it without really thinking it through um, and then I gave it to her and then I almost instantly regretted it because I was like oh I really miss that bag but she loves it as in she wears it all the time so I can't possibly ask for it back and so I've just been basically jealous of her bag for a really long time and then it got to the point where I was like you know what I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it um, if I buy it again so I swallowed all the price increases which was hard because wow it has gone up in price and not as bad as Chanel for sure but there definitely have been quite a few increases. Nevertheless, I do know that I'm going to wear it loads. Um, as I said, I've had the style before. It was one of my favourites then and I anticipate it being another favourite now. And for me, this is just like spring summer in a bag. I do feel like I'm using a lot more tote bags again since having Leo. Um, I feel like whenever we're in a rush, I just grab a tote bag, throw everything in and then go. So hopefully it will be really useful for that as well. So not the most exciting of purchases probably to everyone else, but I'm over the moon about it. Like such a great bag. And for me, I just don't get tired of the Neverfall line. Like it's still going strong for a reason, I think. And yeah, I am just over the moon about this. I am so excited to have it back in my life. I think I'm probably gonna start using it immediately. Just the best bag. I will never get tired of it. Next up are a pair of shorts. And I was a little bit dubious about ordering these. I didn't know if it was too soon to kind of go back into tailored, more structured pieces. I've been doing a lot of flowy items, but I decided to give these a go and they are so, so flattering. I am so glad that I did. I tried them on, love them instantly. My mum saw me try them on. I was like, oh my God, what are those? I want some. She also tried these on and they look fantastic on her and we're very different shapes as well. So I do feel like these might be universally flattering. I love the cut and the fit of them. So they do have a really simple, elegant front pleat right there. You do have pockets on the sides as well, but they lie flat as well. So you don't get any extra bulk there, which I always think is so important around the hips. It does fasten with a zip and a button on the front, but you do have a little bit of an elastic waist at the back. So you get a really nice, close, comfortable fit. And then you do have a slightly wider leg, which I always just think is the most flattering when it comes to tailored shorts. You don't want anything um, too tight around the leg because it's just not going to look flattering unless, you know, you look like a supermodel, in which case that's fine. But for me, I've always found that a slightly wider leg is much more flattering. And I just feel like these are so perfect in every way. So much so that I did say they have them in the black, so I instantly ordered those as well. So when those arrive, I will show those too. Um, but yeah, I am absolutely over the moon with these. If you've been after a good pair of Taylor shorts, I would definitely recommend checking these out. Next up is this beautiful skirt. And if this pattern looks familiar, it's because it's the exact same one as the print I'm wearing on my top. I just love this. I think it's so beautiful. It is the most quintessential spring ready print. A really, really lovely floral pattern. Um, so you have this lovely pale pink base and then you have this bright pink kind of fuchsia floral pattern with these blues and greens. Again, this really lovely watercolor effect. And I just thought this was the loveliest thing. And this one is actually lined. I was saying the other day that I don't come across many pleated skirts that have a lining. Um, but this one, because it's more of like a chiffon pleat, you do need it because it's semi-sheer. Um, so it works really well and it doesn't actually affect the movement at all. You get a fair bit of volume with the skirt. So it does have the most beautiful swish to it. Elasticated waist, so it's very easy to pull on. 
and I just think this is so charming and lovely, like the most elegant piece, so, so lovely, and I'm just so ready for spring weather now, so super excited for this. Hopefully it won't disappoint in terms of all the warm days coming our way, um, but yeah, I just thought this was super elegant and lovely. And next up is another piece in the same pattern. I mentioned I really, really like this floral pattern. This one though, I'm not 100% sure about, so I wanted your guys' thoughts. I haven't taken the tags off this one because, as I said, I wanted your guys' thoughts on it. It is a really pretty dress, but I feel like there's just something maybe a little bit off, or maybe I'm just getting in my head, I'm not sure. Um, it is a mini dress, so maybe it's a tiny bit short for my liking. Um, it does have these really nice long sleeves, and they are semi-sheer, so they are very very pretty you do also have that elasticated and um, wrist detail so if you wanted to roll these up you could do and it's very very easy to do so and then the body is a smocked one um so very stretchy easy to just pull on and then the skirt i wouldn't say it's particularly huge or anything um it's a gentle a line it is fully lined as well and then you have that one tear effect right at the bottom very very pretty indeed um but i just wasn't 100 percent sure when i tried it on but again, I can't really articulate why. So let me know your thoughts. Should I keep this? Should I return it? I am very much 50-50 on it. Um, I absolutely love the colorway and the print, but there is just something that's making me hesitate in terms of the overall style. And then last but not least, I have this absolutely beautiful holster dress, and I thought this was just the loveliest shade, and it is a floral print, um, but it's not a super kind of bright sparkly one at all. It almost has like an autumnal feel to it, so I actually feel like this could be worn for so many different seasons and months. The cut of it is lovely though, um, so it's a bit more of a long one. It is a single kind of tear right at the bottom style, and then you do have a lining, um, but it's only partial, so again very very easy to move in it has a nice amount of swish it does cinch in at the waist as well and you do have that tie that allows you to cinch in further so it is very very flattering and then it has that really nice halter neck style it has a one single button right there at the back and it just kind of flows and skims in a really nice way and i'm planning on wearing this just for kind of dinner dates but i think it could also be a really really nice option for a wedding too and I just thought this was the prettiest style, a really, really beautiful color and just a very nice kind of elegant, simple dress. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment and please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy high-low haul videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.